Hi there, Fern Bark here. Uh, part two of my long-term food storage videos where I want to talk about freeze-dried foods. Freeze-dried foods uh, are a real attractive option for me because obviously you don't need refrigeration and they have a super long shelf life. Another nice thing about freeze-dried foods is there's a pretty wide variety of basic vegetables and meats you can get. So you can get beef, pork, chicken, all freeze-dried. Uh, it's super expensive, but you can get it. And then there's pretty much most of your basic veggies that you would want. So I think I got carrots behind me and, and broccoli and peas. Uh, you can get like a, a stew blend, which this is basically, uh, I tried some and it's it tastes like onions and celery. But it shows all these different things on here. Uh, that's pretty salty. Uh, a one of the disadvantages to uh, freeze-dried food is obviously the cost is still pretty high. So there is a bit of an investment into it. The items are kind of come in a bulky container, so I'd have to have some kind of a storage shed that I would keep these in and maybe keep smaller containers inside the trailer to cook out of. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, another thing that's pretty cool about these is a lot of these you can eat in their dried form. So uh, obviously all the fruits are very tasty just as a snack. And these peas are even pretty good if you just grab a handful of peas. They're, they're pretty tasty just to chew on by themselves in their dried state. Uh, there's a couple of disadvantages to uh, freeze-dried foods that I can see. Obviously the cost is a, is, a, is a big one. And then the other thing that I find irritating is I think they have some pretty unethical packaging or the way they advertise them. So if you're uh, a lot of places like to advertise a kit that's supposed to feed you for so many days and it'll say it has, you know, a hundred servings in it. Well, what's a serving? You know, they, all these companies like to sell their stuff as a serving, which is not a standardized uh, method of measuring something. So they can say anything they want to. And I, I find this really irritating. So if you want to buy anything and you, and you're pricing out from all these different companies, you really got to do a lot of research to find out how much, each of their containers weighs because a lot of this uh, comes in a number 10 can like you see behind me here but they come with different amounts in it so then you have to go and look into the fine print to find out how much each one weighs and then do your own math to figure out what's my dollar per ounce or whatever so it's it's pretty irritating okay here's my rant on some of the things that dehydrated food providers are, are scamming you with so what we have here is this is made by Wise and I'm picking on them because they're the most probably widely found. You can get their stuff everywhere. But what they're advertising here is one week of food for one person for $89. But if you look at it, let's see, it's 52 servings. And if we come down here, you can see that 28 servings, more than half, are drinks. So you're, and then the rest of it is, sorry about that, um, pasta dishes with no meat. So basically you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six bags of food for $90, which is like $30. Oh, that's not right. I can't do math, but you know what I mean. It's way too much money for super crappy uh pasta and salt you really got to be paying attention to these guys when you're ordering stuff because they'll trick you with saying it has a lot of servings and then you get into it the actual food part of it is relatively small compared to the price and the amount of servings that you're getting today i'm going to try the mountain house beef stroganoff with noodles this is the one serving package mountain house uh generally gets really good reviews from everywhere and uh the ones that i've tried have tasted good so far one thing you got to watch out for when you're shopping for Mountain House is if you see a package of uh, the different uh, meals together and the price seems really good, look and make sure you're not getting the one serving size because the same package also comes in a two and a half serving two and a half serving bag on the left there. But if you're looking at a picture on your computer, it's going to look pretty much the same. You're not going to know that it's the smaller bag until you get the box of them that you thought was a good deal and it's the dinky bags in there. I'm going to eat the dinky bag. One of the things I like about the mountain house is you can just put the boiling water right in the bag and seal it up and let it cook in there. So it 
saves on some of the pots and pans if you're not in the mood to deal with that stuff. So this is one serving that actually fits in this little tiny bowl. Doesn't look like very many bitefuls there. It smells good. Okay, moment of truth time. Still smells good. You can really pick up the sour cream on there. It's nice. For as much sodium the package says it has, it doesn't taste that salty. The meat pieces are pretty tiny. They're all right. Okay, that one serving Mountain House took about eight seconds to eat. So if you're a full-grown adult, uh, one of those is just not going to get it done for you. So you might even feed a four-year-old with that one serving pouch. You're definitely going to want that two and a half serving bag to feed a person. All in all, I have to say, I see a lot of upside to dehydrated foods. Uh, you know, just like anything else, you got to be smart about it. I think I'll definitely be combining dehydrated products with the canned products. But all in all, like most things in the world, it's buyer beware. So uh, it's a good idea to get some of that stuff if you uh, pay attention to what you're shopping for and uh, just be careful out there.